Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and do a quick video showing what I'm going to be taking to a crop for the weekend. I was planning on um, staying two nights, but I'm actually going to stay one because um, my doctor needs to do some testing Saturday. So um, I'm going to have to stay here and do that and then go there in the morning, um, but stay the night Saturday night and then I'll come home Sunday evening. Um, so I wanted to share what I brought, what I'm bringing, and how I'm packing. I'm picky, taking way too much, but the problem is, is I want to make sure I have everything I need. Um, I looked through my photos to see if I had, like, fall or Christmas, like, months and stuff like that. Summer months and stuff like that for my pictures. Um, and then I went off that, which, of course, I had all of that. So, of course, I have to take everything. So, I wanted to share what I'm taking. So, first of all... I'm going to be taking this box of scraps here. Don't mind my room. It is a hot mess right now. I cannot wait to organize this and get this back together. This is just stressing me out. So I will get this all together. But yeah, I'm going to be taking my scissors and my trimmer there. I just am working on, oh my gosh, I'm going to be working on some cards. So um, I left those out. Um, but I'm taking this tote of scraps because I love to use my scraps. I'm taking this organizer here. Um, I have dies, stickers, die cuts, punches, ink pads, glue, all my tools, um, ink blending tools, my pens, everything in this one. I also have stamps, date stamps, so I can uh, put dates on my scrapbook layouts. This here, I have a bunch of like Harry Potter alphabet stickers, summer, some different papers, and like other collection kits like fishing and Girl Scouts. I also have um, this paper crimper in here because I want to use some of that on my pages. Over here I have my die cutting plates. Um, that tote was from Hobby Lobby. I have my cardstock here. Um, over here, I have my Cricut Joy. I I was going to take my regular Cricut, but I'm afraid with it being so big that it's going to take up way too much space. And there's not a lot of room there, so I'm just taking my Joy. So, I'm taking that. Along with more solid cardstock, other cardstock. This is school stuff, so whenever, she do, whenever I do some other school pages... Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. My daughter is sleeping in the other room. I have this wagon full. My husband's going to help me take it, load it, and unload it. So I have Christmas, zoo, fall. This is more stickers and stuff. I have an empty one for all of my um, finished layouts. And possibly scraps. We'll see. Um, stickers are all in these binders. I have my Big Shot. I have boxes. Photo boxes. Two of them for journaling cards and two for photos. And then I have this tote here that has um, more stickers in it that are in binders. So this is a creative movie. So that is what I am taking so far. Um, I don't, and I'm also taking a bag full of clothes, um, just for one night. So I'm doing that. But yeah, this is all a mess. This is all a mess. I'm in the process of making a mini album. In the process of like punching. Um, I did some punches with some of my. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Wow, I really need to work out. Um, this is with my new Creative Memories punch. I punched it twice. So if you only punch it once, you get this. I punched it in tan, and then I punched it in red, and then I cut all of the red on the top off and made that. And I thought that would be super cute on some um, layouts with um, like us going to the woods and stuff. And then this is another punch that I'm taking it's a fishing one. I thought that'd be perfect for our fishing layouts. Um, so yeah, 
And that's all my Christmas stuff that I'm in the process of working on. So, I mean, yeah, that's a hot mess. Stamps that need cut out and put in CD cases. Cards that I wanted to share, which I can do that real quick. These are some Christmas cards I did. I don't think I've shared these. Pretty sure I didn't because I would have put them up. And they are in um, plastic sleeves, ready to go. But yeah, I created these using some scraps and some paper, some die cuts. Trying to get like a good amount done for the craft show. I'm hoping to join more than one. But it all depends on how everything goes this year on if I do. I know it's getting towards Christmas time. I know I said the C word. I'm sorry. But. Yeah, I wanted to share these. Maybe give you guys some ideas on how to use like I use a lot of my scraps on my cards. I love using scraps. My friend actually came and visited and we went to a grad sale and she gave me all of her scraps. Now I sorted a bunch of them into my scrap bin, which this is just a container from Walmart. And I use these zipper pouches to store them by color. But as you can see, they're overflowing. Um, no matter how much I use them, but she gave me a bunch of her scraps. I still have some left over here that she gave me. But a lot of them I put in here. So, yeah, I have this organized and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's just a lot of organizing. And then some other details are coming possibly towards the end of this year. Um, so, yeah. A lot going on this weekend. Hopefully I'll have some scrapbook layouts to share with you. Um, I got to create some cards for the church card group. Um, like, I think it was... How many? Ten? Ten? I think it was ten birthday cards I gotta make, which I don't have to, but I just want to uh, make for them. Um, so the kids, like, the kids, we get a list of how old they are, their names, and then, like, what their interests are. So I like to make cards based on their interests. So I'm going to be making a bunch of cards this weekend, uh, possibly tomorrow. I want to try and get those all done tomorrow um before I go so I can get those done and out of the way because she wants them by Monday I've been putting them off and they're due on Monday so um I need to get those done but yeah I wanted to share what I'm taking um maybe I'll share some more over the weekend it is a lake view it's right off the lake I'm so excited um there's gonna be a massage therapist you can do uh, horseback riding um, there's going to be food provided. I'm staying the night there. It's like a camp, so the beds aren't going to be very comfortable. But I'm only staying one night, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But it's right off the lake, so the view is gorgeous. Um, and it's not that far away from me, so that's nice. I can easily come back home if needed. So, um, it won't take that long, like 20 minutes. Well, actually longer. Like 30 minutes away or so. So, yeah. I just wanted to share an update, and I will... And I made a list of what I need. So, yeah, I'm taking a whole case of water, even. I am way, I'm overpacking by a lot. But I know I'm not the only one, but just hopefully I have enough space there for everything. My husband and I are dropping everything off tomorrow after my daughter's taekwondo. Um, dropping it all off tomorrow. Um, that way it's all set up and stuff ready to go, and then I'll come back home hang out here and then tomorrow morning I'll go do the testing and then um after that I'll go there and be there all day my husband's gonna drop me off there possibly um tomorrow morning and then um come back and get me on Sunday so yeah I can't wait to share with you guys what I create I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys